you were a star child Let your light shine for all the world When you open your mouth to reveal a pearl Let it shine more just to light the path If it don't add up, man, just do the math If it ain't for you, let it pass on through How you doing? This is Terrion Wilson, a.k.a. Yo boy, Brother T, here with another one. So we like to call this channel T's Life Tree. And on this channel, we like to drop pine cones of wisdom. If you don't know what that is, stick around, stay on the channel, you'll get it. Before we get into the episode, I need you to do me a favor. I need you to like, and I need you to subscribe. When you like and subscribe, then we can continue to give you those pine cones of wisdom that you love so much because you love Brother T, right? All right, so <laughs> today we're going to, to uh, do our next video in the astrology series. This has been so much fun. Now, for those that don't really get into astrology, that's cool. If you want to watch just for fun, that's cool. If you really want to learn, that's cool. And for the experts that already know astrology, welcome. I hope we can collab one day and I hope you enjoyed it. Okay, so let's get right into it. So today, what we're going to do, we're just going to look at all 12 signs of the Zodiac. I'm just going to give you a few personality traits, things like that, um, things that you might not know if you don't really study it. And I'm going to do it in order of the zodiac okay all right so you know where i start some people are going to be like hey wait a minute that's not the beginning of the calendar of course not because i'm starting i'm going with the zodiac all right so we're going to start with aries and if you watch my video on elements you would know that aries is a fire sign People that are born under the sign of Aries are born between March 21st and April 20th. Some of the traits of an Aries, brave, independent, impulsive. They love the spotlight. They're drawn to it actually. And they love to be first. Just think about people who are Aries around you. Okay, think about multiple people that are Aries. Now, keep in mind that these are, we were doing kind of sun signs today. If you saw the other videos, you would know that if you want a true representation, you'll need your whole birth chart, okay? If you don't have your whole birth chart, then you can go by your sun sign for kind of a general idea. If you if you think about multiple people who are Aries that you know, they, they all aren't going to match up with every single thing on this list, right? But if you really good, give it some real good thought, you're going to come to the conclusion that every single one of those Aries fit multiple things on this list. And that's kind of how it goes, right? With um, the Zodiac period. So that's Aries. And Aries are pretty cool people. Sometimes they can be hotheads, okay? And sometimes they can be quick to fight depending on the person. So the next one is gonna be the sun sign of Taurus. Now the element that goes with Taurus is going to be Earth. So Taurus is an Earth sign. People that are born under the sign of Taurus are born between April 21st and May 20th. A lot of Tauruses have good taste, okay? They love naturally beautiful things. But on the flip side, they're very stubborn, right? <laughs> they're very stubborn. Sometimes if you have a disagreement with them, forget about it, okay? <laughs> now, me personally, I get along with uh, my Taurus counterparts because uh, I'm a Pisces, by the way. So Pisces, we're a little more understanding than a lot of the signs. So we, we can put up with the stubborn thing. We, we kind of take that as a challenge even, okay? And also Tauruses are stable. They're known to be stable and they are sensual as well. Okay? The next sign is going to be Gemini and Gemini's element is air. All right, people born under the sign of Gemini it are people that are born between May 21st and June 20th. Some of the traits of a Gemini, dynamic, multi-talented, they love games. Now, the multi-talented thing, because they are represented by the twins, sometimes they can have multiple talents. Geminis, you'll find that they can do a lot of different things, which could be a good thing and a bad thing, depending on the person, right? Careful with the Gemini. You don't want to get on their bad side because they have different sides to them, okay? 
Now, don't look at it as uh, one side is good and one side is bad. Both sides can be good, both sides can be bad. It depends on the person. It depends on their birth chart and it depends on their personality as a whole. All right, so let's go to the next one. The next one is Cancer, okay? Now, Cancer is represented by the element of water, which makes them a water sign. People that are born underneath the sign of cancer are born between June 21st and July 22nd. So what are some of the traits of a cancer? Cancers are sensitive, practical, all right? They're friend oriented. They love to have friends around them. Um, you got to be careful with a cancer. You don't want to get on the cancer's bad side. The cancer is represented by the crab, by the way. Now, if you get on a cancer's bad side, they can be very petty, right? And they can take things to the extreme. They can hurt your feelings really, really quickly, okay? Because th that sensitive side of them can turn into a very, very vindictive side of them as well. So be careful with that. All right, so let's go to the next one. And the next one is going to be the sign of Leo. Now, the Leo is a fire sign. People that are born underneath the sign of Leo are born between July 23rd and August 22nd. Now, Leos are very interesting because you're going to find them at the top of the heap a lot of time. OK, you're going to find um, Barack Obama as a Leo, for instance. Right. So they have certain traits and characteristics that draw attention. Leos are creative. They're popular. Right. We just talked about that. Faithful, also faithful, which is a good thing, especially if you're in a romantic relationship. Now, Leo's also kind of like the Aries. They like to be in the spotlight, too. They like to be seen. OK, it doesn't have to be spotlight, but they have to have eyes on them. So watch that from the Leo's. They can have a mean streak. OK, when you're on a bad side. And of course, the Leo is represented by the lion. All right, so what's next? Virgo, the virgin. All right, so Virgos are earth signs. So they're represented by the element of earth. People born underneath the sign of Virgo are born between August 23rd and September 22nd. Now you're gonna find Virgos all over the place when you look at celebrities. And why this is, is because of some of their characteristics. Now, some of the characteristics, they are creative, they're clever, they're successful at what they do. Now, you're gonna find with a lot of Virgos as well is that they pay a lot of attention to detail, okay? So you'll find a lot of perfectionists are Virgos. And of course, they're represented by the Virgin. All right, so next up will be Libra. All right, so Libras are air signs. So that's the element of air. People that are born underneath the sign of Libra are born between September 23rd and October 22nd. Some of the traits of a Libra, irresistible, adventurous. Now on the flip side, they can be indecisive, okay? Now why? They're represented by the scales, which is also represents justice. Justice can go good or bad, right? So that's why sometimes they can be indecisive. So be careful with those Libras, okay? Scorpio. Now, Scorpio is represented by the element of water, right? And they're represented by the scorpion. Some of the traits of a Scorpio, they're self-reliant, they're powerful, dominant. They can be sexual, depending on the Scorpio, right? <laughs> and that's what any sign, any sign can be sexual, especially when you have different placements in your birth chart. But that's a lot a lot of times that's one of the uh, descriptions of scorpio now on the flip side you don't want to get on the scorpio's nerves either next up sagittarius sagittarius is a fire sign so the element is fire people that are born underneath the sign of sagittarius are born between november 23rd and december 21st now sagittarius are known to be open-minded loving but at times, 
when they they do have mouths on them right so they can come off as insensitive at times too because they speak what's on their mind okay they're, they're going to be a little more straightforward with the way they speak to you so if you find a sagittarius with a mouth which i have dealt with a few you have to be ready for that just know sometimes they still have good hearts they just communicate in a way in which you're going to take you know if, if you're not ready for it you're going to take it the wrong way now next up one of my personal favorites even though you know it's not my sun sign but I, I like everybody every time i meet a capricorn i like them for some reason right we get along <laughs> and capricorns are earth signs so earth is the element for capricorn people that are born underneath the sign of capricorn are born between december 22nd and january 19th now uh, capricorns these are the workers right they're represented by the goat all right they're hard working they're straightforward they're down to earth okay and i tell you what if you get on that bad side they can be stubborn too right kind of like the taurus right <laughs> you get into a debate with them or a disagreement don't worry about changing their mind <laughs> on something just go ahead state your claim let them make up their mind later you know or vice versa you know <laughs> so all right so next up aquarius aquarius is represented by air so aquariuses are air signs people born underneath aquarius are born between january 20th and february 19th all right they're innovative they're admired eccentric these are the thinkers right and they're represented by the water bearer if you get on that bad side because of their intelligence they can cut you down pretty harshly with words and information that they have right at their disposal and last but not least of course it's my favorite sign why because i'm a pisces right so it's always going to be my favorite i'm going to lean towards them i'm going to make them sound real good in this video <laughs> people now pisces is a water sign so the element is water People that are born underneath the sign of Pisces are born between February 20th and March 20th. They're free, sensual, sensitive. All right. What, what you're going and, and uh, in, intuitive as well. So what you're going to find uh, when, when you find a lot of psychics and stuff like that, you're going to find that a large number of them, at least the ones that are, you know, can be looked at as uh, legitimate you're going to find a lot of Pisces, right? You're, you're going to find all signs, but you're going to find that a lot of Pisces take to that easily. Pisces is represented by the fishes, okay? One fish going in one direction and another fish going in the opposite direction. This has multiple meanings, okay? So you can find a Pisces if they are on their path, if they're on their purpose, they are going to be awesome awesome individuals you're going to find that they're going to be multi-talented like the twins like gemini you're going to find that they're very sensitive and that you're going to find that they're very caring now this is when they're on their path when they're on their purpose a pisces that knows that they're pisces and they're going that route if you get a pisces that's not on their pisces game you're going to see that fish going in the other direction meaning you might find somebody that's overly sensitive guy or girl okay this could be a man that just pops off and wants to fight very quickly right at any given moment all right so i enjoy giving you the 12 signs i gave you some of the good traits i gave you a few bad traits of each one if you want to know more of course do more research do your own research it's easy to find information on astrology if not come on back to the page maybe i'll have some more videos okay and maybe hopefully i can help you along your path of getting to know yourself because once you get to know yourself your life is going to improve you're going to have better days out here trust me there's no such thing as perfect okay so you're not going to have a, a good day every day messing with me but what i'm going to show you is some of the days that you don't think are good you can transmute them into being good days okay we'll talk about transmutation later this is your man brother t i enjoyed you watching the video i hope you enjoyed it if you did leave me a like leave me a comment right why not subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and i will get to you later on another video thanks for stopping in peace